Imagine a creature so strange that scientists spent decades debating which end was its head and which was its tail. That's the story of Hallucigenia, an extinct marine animal from the Cambrian period, a time roughly 500 million years ago. With its small body, Hallucigenia had a unique structure, sharp spines on one side and soft lobed legs on the other. This bizarre combination made it one of the greatest mysteries in paleontology. Scientists initially misinterpreted it as an animal that walked on its spines, but later discovered it was simply a bottom dweller. The story of Hallucigenia not only reveals the incredible diversity of early life, but also serves as a reminder of how science constantly evolves with past mistakes being corrected by new discoveries. For over 60 years, scientists displayed Hallucigenia in museums completely upside down, turning a simple walking creature into an impossible biological nightmare that defied all known laws of animal movement. When Simon Conway Morris first reconstructed Hallucigenia, in 1977, he created an image of a creature that seemed to walk on tall, sharp spines while waving tentacle like feeding arms from its back. This reconstruction dominated textbooks and museum displays for decades, showing an animal that appeared to balance precariously on needle-sharp stilts. The biological impossibility of this reconstruction became increasingly obvious to researchers. No known animal could balance on such sharp spines and feeding while suspended high above the sea floor on stilts made no evolutionary sense the creature would have been constantly toppling over, unable to find food or escape predators effectively. Yet museum visitors worldwide stared at these displays, accepting that early life was simply inexplicable. The problem lay in how the fossils were preserved. When Hallucigenia died and was buried in ancient sediments, the crushing weight of geological time compressed its body flat against the rock. This compression made one entire row of legs completely invisible to early researchers who could only see the sharp defensive spines on the back and a single row of what appeared to be feeding tentacles. Without modern imaging techniques, scientists had no way to detect the hidden legs pressed against the opposite side of the rock. This upside down interpretation profoundly influenced scientific thinking about Cambrian evolution. Hallucigenia became the poster child for the idea that early life forms were bizarre evolutionary experiments doomed to failure. Scientists pointed to its impossible anatomy as evidence that the Cambrian explosion produced many dead-end lineages that couldn't survive in the real world. The creature reinforced the notion that early animals were fundamentally different from anything alive today. Growing unease among paleontologists mounted as they struggled to explain how such a creature could have survived, let alone thrived in Cambrian seas. The breakthrough came from China's Chengjiang fauna in the early 1990s, where new discoveries began revealing the true nature of similar creatures. When researchers finally discovered Hallucigenia's second row of legs hidden in the rock, they could flip the animal right side up. The defensive spines had been mistaken for legs simply because the real legs were invisible, crushed flat and hidden from view for millions of years. This transformation changed Hallucigenia from an impossible creature into a perfectly sensible bottom dwelling animal. But one mystery remained unsolved even after this great flip. Even after scientists flipped Hallucigenia right side up, they faced an embarrassing problem. They couldn't tell which end was the head and which was the tail leading to decades of scientific papers that might have been describing the creature backwards. The corrected orientation in the 1990s solved the impossible walking on spines problem, but researchers still confronted a fundamental question about Hallucigenia's basic anatomy and direction of movement. This wasn't just academic curiosity, understanding which way the animal faced was crucial for interpreting its behavior and evolutionary significance. The challenge lay in identifying a head structure in a creature that seemed to have bulbous formations at both ends. Neither end displayed clear eyes, mouth, or other obvious head features visible in the compressed fossils. The preservation process had obscured the delicate soft tissues that typically help paleontologists distinguish front from back in ancient animals. 
Scientists initially assumed the larger, more prominent bulge represented the head creating reconstructions that showed hallucinogenia moving in what we now know was completely the wrong direction. This uncertainty had serious implications for understanding hallucinogenia's feeding habits and evolutionary relationships with other early animals. Was it a filter feeder that moved slowly across the seafloor or an active predator that pursued prey? The answer depended entirely on knowing which end contained the feeding apparatus. Scientists couldn't properly classify the creature or understand its ecological role without this basic anatomical information. Advanced imaging techniques became available in the 2010s, including high-resolution electron microscopy capable of revealing microscopic details in 500 million-year-old fossils. These new tools allowed researchers to examine fossil surfaces at unprecedented magnification, searching for tiny structures invisible to earlier generations of scientists. Dr. Martin Smith and his team applied cutting-edge fossil preparation techniques in 2015, carefully exposing previously hidden anatomical features. The breakthrough moment came when researchers identified simple eyes and a complex mouth structure at what had previously been considered the tail end. These discoveries completely reversed decades of scientific interpretation. The identification of the true head, complete with eyes and feeding apparatus, finally solved the mystery of hallucinogenia's orientation. Researchers figured out which end was the head by discovering paired eye spots and an intricate throat structure equipped with rings of tiny teeth designed for capturing prey. Hidden within hallucinogenia's claws lies a microscopic architectural secret that directly links this 500 million year old creature to modern velvet worms solving one of the biggest puzzles in early animal evolution. After decades of confusion about its anatomy and orientation, scientists still face the enormous challenge of determining where exactly hallucinogenia belonged in the tree of life. The creature's bizarre appearance and unique combination of features made it nearly impossible to connect with any modern animal groups. Competing theories emerged about whether hallucinogenia represented a dead-end evolutionary experiment or a genuine ancestor to animals alive today. Some researchers argued that its strange anatomy proved early life explored bizarre body plans that ultimately failed. Others suspected it might hold the key to understanding major evolutionary transitions, but concrete evidence remained frustratingly elusive. The fossil record offered few clues about which modern animals might share ancestry with this enigmatic Cambrian creature. The breakthrough came in 2014 when researchers used advanced microscopy techniques to examine the internal structure of hallucinogenia's tiny claws. What they discovered changed everything. The claws were built from multiple nested layers of cuticle, creating a distinctive cone-in-cone -cone architecture, where smaller claw elements fit inside larger ones like Russian nesting dolls. This intricate layered construction wasn't just decorative, it represented a specific evolutionary innovation. This cone-in-cone -cone architecture proved virtually identical to the claw structure found in modern velvet worms, those soft-bodied creatures that hunt insects in, in tropical forests today. The microscopic similarity was too precise to be coincidental. For the first time, scientists had concrete anatomical evidence linking hallucinogenia directly to a living animal group. To a this connection placed hallucinogenia firmly within the panarthropod lineage, the major group that includes modern arthropods like insects and crustaceans, velvet worms and water bears. The throat and mouth structures discovered in 2015 strengthened this evolutionary relationship even further. These feeding apparatus showed clear similarities to structures found in modern EXC uh, dysozoans, the larger group that encompasses panarthropods. The claw structure definitively proved hallucinogenia's connection to modern velvet worms by revealing identical microscopic architecture that could only result from shared evolutionary heritage. Rather than being an evolutionary dead end, hallucinogenia emerged as a crucial transitional form that illuminated the early evolution of an entire major animal group. These anatomical discoveries revealed sophisticated predatory capabilities that transformed our understanding of how this ancient creature actually lived.
When scientists finally peered inside Hallucigenia's newly identified head, they discovered a sophisticated predatory apparatus that rivaled modern carnivorous worms, complete with a ring of sharp teeth and an aversible throat designed for capturing prey. The 2015 identification of Hallucigenia's true head opened up entirely new questions about its feeding behavior and ecological role in Cambrian seas. Scientists suddenly realized they needed to completely reconsider what this creature actually did for a living. The challenge became understanding how such a small creature could be an effective predator in an ocean filled with much larger and more obvious carnivores. Cambrian seas teemed with massive predators like Anomalocaris, which grew over six feet long and dominated the food chain. How could a tiny creature, barely reaching a few inches, compete in such a dangerous environment? The answer lay hidden in the microscopic details of its feeding apparatus. Researchers discovered Hallucigenia's pharyngeal armature, a complex arrangement of small sharp elements surrounding its mouth that could be extended outward to capture prey. This feeding mechanism operated like a spring-loaded trap shooting forward to snare unsuspecting victims before retracting back into the throat. The structure functions similarly to the throat apparatus found in modern priapulid worms, those carnivorous marine creatures that ambush prey from burrows in ocean sediments. This feeding apparatus also resembled the mouth parts of radiodonts, those giant Cambrian predators that ruled ancient seas. The similarity suggested that sophisticated predatory mechanisms evolved multiple times during the Cambrian explosion, indicating intense selective pressure for efficient killing tools. Predator-prey relationships during this period reached extraordinary complexity with arms races driving rapid evolutionary innovation. Hallucigenia's combination of defensive spines and predatory mouthparts made it both hunter and hunted in the complex Cambrian ecosystem. The creature could defend itself against larger predators while simultaneously pursuing its own prey among the seafloor communities. These feeding structures help explain Hallucigenia's evolutionary success and its important role in early panarthropod development. The ring of sharp teeth an aversible throat apparatus proves Hallucigenia was a sophisticated predator, not just a simple scavenger. Identifying this feeding apparatus was crucial because it revealed the complexity of early carnivorous behavior and showed how advanced predatory strategies emerge much earlier than previously thought. This discovery fundamentally changed our understanding of how hunting evolved during life's greatest diversification event. Hallucigenia's journey reveals three pivotal discoveries that completely transformed our understanding of this ancient creature. First, the upside down reconstructions from compressed fossils that made scientists think it walked on spines for decades. Second, the 1990s work revealing the hidden second row of legs that flipped everything right side up. Third, the 2014 to 2015 breakthroughs identifying its true head and discovering the coning cone claw structure that linked it directly to modern velvet worms and the panarthropod lineage. A tiny spiky worm from half a billion years ago ended up rewriting how we see the origins of velvet worms and their kin. If this mix of detective work and deep time appeals to you, hit like and subscribe for more fossil mysteries. Drop a comment if you want the specific research papers behind these discoveries.